I'm Chad Pawson in the CBC Newsroom with my grade 9 daughter, Ronan. Hi. Now, we always try to make sure waste goes in the right place, such as organics in the compost bin and only garbage going to the landfills. But it's not always so easy, is it, Ronan? Yes, it can be tricky. Two Vancouver High School students are trying to help with that. This has been genius. They've invented prototype waste receptacles equipped with sensors and AI, so if you put waste in the wrong place, it lets you know. Like a lot of students have, um, when they have lunch, they just throw all of their um, plates and then their um, foods into the garbage bin, which will be sent to landfills. I see cleaners, I see teachers who has to be um, managing all those bins by themselves. And I just think that's just really sad for them to have to do that. So I believe that we need to come up with a solution to really solve this uh, issue. The duo hope a scaling up of the innovation can help with the region's garbage problem. Despite being a leader in waste diversion across the country, the latest garbage report from Metro Vancouver shows over a four week period nearly 1 million tons of waste was collected and nearly 25% was organic waste, meaning waste that should be kept out of landfills. Leaders with Metro Vancouver say innovation is needed to reduce the amount of garbage showing up at landfills. Everyone doing their part to divert waste is essential. We want to continue to do better. We have more people that are moving into the region. Um, and of course, landfills fill up. Um, and there's only so much space. So it's really about how do we continue to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and to reduce the amount of waste that is produced per person. Stop. This is how you should do it. Amy Back and Sunny Wynn have submitted their innovation to a Science Fair Foundation competition and hope to keep developing the technology after high school to where they can convince the Vancouver School Board to have the specialized bins in every school. Chad Pawson, CBC News, Vancouver.